Pontiac Fierro You got it, Pontiac Hi, thanks for checking out my bushing removal video for the Pontiac Fierro The bushings I'll be removing are for the engine cradle and a control arm uh, the process is pretty simple. You basically need a blowtorch and you're going to heat up the sleeve that holds the bushing in place. Once the rubber around that sleeve is heated to the point that it starts to melt, the bushing should be easy to tap out with a hammer or pry out with a screwdriver. Um, or sometimes they even actually pop out on their own. I'll show you what I do and hopefully you'll find it useful. All right, here we got a uh, rear lower control arm. Um, to get the bushings out, we want to first flip it upside down, and we're going to heat up the inner sleeve and bang the uh, bushing out from the inside out, because it's bigger here, smaller in there, so you want to push it from the inside out. And usually these come out pretty easy once you heat them up, so it might take a a minute or two of heating it up and eventually um, should tap out pretty easy. As you can see we just want to move it all up and down the sleeve, get it real hot, come in on the end in and outside, heat it all up pretty evenly. Usually once it catches fire that's when you know it's about ready to want to pop out. Sometimes they actually pop out on their own. One hit. Now that we've got the bushings burned out, in my case I've painted up the control arm, make it look a little nicer, last a little longer. Um, we're going to go ahead and install the polyurethane bushings. And for this, which is just the rear, you come with uh, four bushings and then sleeves which slide in there. And then two tubes of grease. So we're going to take the grease, and I recommend using gloves. We're just going to take this and just really just lube up the inside of the tube. This will help the bushing slide in better when we hammer it in. Alright, so for these control arms, the bushing goes from the outside in and pound it in as best you can. I usually use a 2x4 or 5 pound hammer to help persuade it the rest of the way. There you have it. Beautiful fit. Ready to go in. Let's do the same thing for the other side. Apply the grease. Let's sleeve in. I'm just going to finish off this tube. Same deal. gonna insert the bushing, press it as far as we can go by hand. My tool. Boom. And my tool doubles up 
as a paper towel rack to uh, clean up any excess. And there you have it. This is ready to go back on. Roasted marshmallows, anyone? That's how you remove the engine cradle bushings. All right, with these cradle bushings, these are real easy to remove. Um, all you do is just tap it out. Um, mine have already been tapped out because I've already been prepping this cradle, but um, it's really easy. You just take a hammer and simple as that. So again. Easy removal for these engine cradle bushings. You just pop them out. All right, for the engine cradle, if you were to have polyurethane bushings, uh, same deal. You can see the outer lip is on the inside of the cradle. So you're gonna wanna uh, bang the bushings in from the inside out. Um, in my case, I'm going to be using aluminum cradle bushings. These I got from Rodney Dickman, um, and they're two pieces. And the ways these go in, a little different since they're two pieces. The thicker piece is going to go on the outside, in, and the stubbier piece will go on the inside, and then you bang them in together. So we'll go ahead and do the outer side first. Now, to maintain the nice red, I'm going to use a piece of wood and a mallet. And I got the piece of wood tall enough that I don't have to hold it. I can just sit it on the ground and just tap it in. As you see, it fits great. Now we're going to do the other side. Again, same deal. Just take it, put it on the inside. Use my persuader here. And it's in. Not a scratch on it. And that's how you install the front engine cradle bushings. Going to the rear side of the cradle. We again have two aluminum bushings. If you're using the polyurethane, you just tap it up from the bottom. Uh, like you tapped out the rubber, you just push it up through the bottom. In this case, with the aluminum, we've got two. And just as if you had the rubber or the polyurethane, um, the one with the flat ends comes up through the bottom, making sure you line up flat sides and with the aluminum one you're going to set that in and then you got two set screws that you're going to set in there. I believe this is a 764 which might be a little small but it works. Put that in there and we'll do the other side. And again we just Stick it in. Make sure we get it as low as possible.
There we go. That's the rear cradle bushings.